Well, I think the church is very divided, very splintered, and in need of ecumenical statements. And the Heidelberg Catechism is a wonderful one, because it, precisely because it doesn't begin with doctrine, which is the kind of thing that tends to divide Christians. Uh, it begins with a common um, pastoral affirmation that we belong to God in life and in death. And nothing's ever going to take that away. Every Christian has to affirm that. That's part of what it means to be Christian. So it starts with this common centeredness in Christ. And I think that's an incredible help to a divided church looking for things that can still hold us together. I think of the Catechism as a conversation. Uh, there's a question, there's an answer. There's a question and there's an answer. And the thoughtfulness of the question can also be found in the thoughtfulness of the response. And what the Catechism wants is for you to not only take the answer that it offers, but to expand upon that answer, to enter into a conversation with other people about this, about this question. And so it's trying to do uh, theology um, through dialogue. I think it forms you by bringing you back to center. Uh, the Catechism is not off on adventurous, quirky theological questions. It's dealing with basic, core affirmations of the faith. How um, is salvation affected for us by Jesus Christ? Uh, the Ten Commandments, uh, the Apostles' Creed, the sacraments. These are the kind of the building blocks of the Christian faith. And the Catechism wants to work through each one of these. And it's a way of kind of coming back home to what you know, and yet you're being introduced to more insights and um, more depth to it than you'd seen before. You know, when do we ever um, run out of needing to be reminded of what our only comfort is? How quickly and easily are we tempted to look to other things for that which only, only Jesus Christ can give us. Um, and so whether it's, am I tempted to look for my comfort in my work, in my relationships? Uh, these are all gifts and opportunity, blessings from God, but only Christ can be our comfort. The word from the Latin, uh, comfort, actually means to, to, to get standing again. And Karl Barth's commentary on the Catechism he said, uh, what the first question is asking is, what gets us back up on our feet again? What is it that allows us to stand as the human beings we were created to be? What restores dignity into our lives? None of the things that we think do, such as, oh, if I had enough success at work, if I had enough money, if I finally had somebody to love, if, uh, then I would be on my feet again. No, it's, these are things that go to the salvation of your soul, and only Jesus Christ can provide that. And so let's come back to this again my only comfort in life. When I'm wide awake at two in the morning worrying about work, the catechism comes back to me. You think you're going to find comfort by resolving this problem at work? No. Jesus Christ is the only one that's going to get you back on your feet again.